welcome to a new video. Today we're going to Mdina, which is the formal capital city of Malta and there is a big group behind us so we're gonna walk <laughs> okay so we're now walking to the gate of Amdina and here as you can see the whole city is surrounded by walls so there's only one gate um, which is the entrance so let's go So this is the main entrance of Mbina. Let's see what is inside. So here we're entering Mbina and here you see the Mbina dungeon but I will tell you about that later in this video. all these colored balconies and doors it's so beautiful and the cars you see here are only from the people who live here because first uh, Amdina was the capital city of Malta but then it became Valletta and since then Amdina is called the silent city because it became a ghost town uh, since Valletta uh, became the capital city. So now there are only around 250 people living here in Mdina and so um, only the people who live here are allowed to bring their car here and here we see the church <laughs> You can book a horse and carriage tour for around 30 euros and they will show you around Mdina. Here we are at the viewpoint and this is the highest point in Malta and here you can see a really big part of the island. Mdina is the oldest city in Malta and the history of Mdina traces back to more than 4,000 years. So that's really crazy. They actually filmed some scenes of a movie here, like Game of Thrones and Gladiators, I guess. I never saw them both, but um, that's nice. So if you watch that, then it's nice to visit Mdina. So now we are back at the starting point at the gate of Mdina. The city is really small, so we walked uh, like 20 mi minutes, 15 minutes, and then we're back again. You can walk here for longer, but we're back now. Uh, I'm standing in front of the dungeon and we're not going in there now. We went there like two weeks ago so I'm gonna show you that video. Okay, we're going into the dungeon in Andina. So in this dungeon you will see how the Romans treated their slaves and prisoners with great cruelty. It is really weird to see what it was like in those days. During the period of the night times were hard and so were the laws of the land. What today seems trifling was then severely dealt with and some of the following offenses were established by law. Blasphemy was severely punished and those found guilty of the first offense had their tongues pierced with a needle. Slaves who refused to work had their ears cut off and criminals were liable to be punished by having their hands chopped off. Here you see the masks of shame. They were used as a punishment and each mask had a different meaning. Some masks had used eyes, ears or mouths to indicate the crime of the wearer was eavesdropping, spying or spreading gossip. The care of infants abandoned by their parents. 
really creepy oh my god look at this i'm home again guys so uh emdina is actually a 10 15 minutes walk from my apartment so that's really nice if i want to go somewhere but not too far then i go walk to emdina so that's really nice um i think it's a really cute city and i hope you liked it don't forget to like and to subscribe and i will see you at my next video bye bye